Hey guys, and welcome back to very much not so drunk commentary, and we are on episode five of Squid Game. So in the last episode, uh, we saw that the guys, the officials, are kind of liars because in the earlier episodes they were very dedicated. Like the players can't seem to attack each other that much. Like they definitely can't kill each other. They have this whole thing about like the democratic process and like we can't allow anyone to interfere with it. And then in the last episode they were like. We don't care if you guys all kill each other. So it was really interesting. So a lot of people killed each other in the middle of the night. And then we saw the third game. And the third game apparently is Tug of War. And the main characters, Gion, Sung Woo, um, Ali, uh, Sebyuk, old guy, uh, joined up on a team. And their team was not that great because they ended up getting two more women on it. Uh, which would normally be fine. But they're playing Tug of War. Uh, which is not the greatest game for that situation. And it looks like they, at the end of last game, they're about to die. Which would make me a lot more nervous if this was in a TV show and they weren't main characters. And since every main character we know except for one is on that team, I'm 99% sure they're going to be fine. So we're going to see what happens in this episode. And um, yeah, let's just jump right into it and uh, have me stop talking about it, shall we? So episode five of a squid game starting and now. So just trust me and they'll fall. I mean they really don't have other options. Like they have to do something crazy here. One, two, three. Maybe two steps would have been okay, but Yeah, like if they can't get back to their feet, you win easy. He's sliding. Oh, and they're still falling. Yeah, they have this. I mean, obviously, but... Yeah, victory for the main characters. Man, they're really, like, delaying that. <laughs> Could you imagine if you, like, you won, like, you pulled the team off, and then you, like, because you knew you won, you just, like, let go of the rope? And then, like, because it, there's such a delay... It just pulled your team off as well. All right, three games down. I'm not sure if they're gonna show us the rest of the like, teams because like we literally don't know anyone on the other team, so I don't know why they would. Come up with that awesome last minute trick. I mean, she's right, but like, you know, dude, let the guy pray. Like, who's he bothering? It's them, not God. I mean, everyone else already knows your name, so just say it. Just leave like, me alone. Why is she, like, not telling this one person? Well, you're the one who asked me to join you guys. Looks like she ain't dead yet. See, that's why you try to avoid making enemies, you know? Because now she's just gonna, like, gun after him. I wonder how they're gonna do it. Because, like, I expected them to, like, find, like, a secrety way to, like, sneak that body out. Oh... That's cool, they like built up infrastructure to do this. That room's gotta be really hot though, because it has like an open, open vent to a furnace. Oh yeah, they probably want him still alive because like you, you need to or like harvest like immediately after death. As soon as we all leaned back, I felt so Jim. Our team's more secure that way, huh? Cause she, cause he's like the strongest guy on the team. Man, she sucks. She's going after my favorite character. Kick her out. Mr. Brains, great. Building an egalitarian society. We're all equal except you. Damn guys, I gotta say this is quite. She get kicked out. Did he call her grandma? Whoever call me that. That's so mean. Here, I mean. You know, it's almost like they knew about it ahead of time. Yeah, no kidding. Like, that is really suspicious. That, like, they seemingly, like, tossed out when they're players for no reason. And then they ended up having, like, the perfect team for the, for the challenge. Well, I mean, I don't understand why people are killing their own teammates. It seems stupid. Like, before the lights... It might be good to make sure that we have cover. Oh, that's smart. That's like, I forgot, like, there are pretty much no rules of what they could do in there. So, like, 
there's no reason to like not fortify yourself. This is my point from like last time. Like you want to like you want to take out the people who are most likely to win challenges. It's like that's like basically like how Survivor works. Like um, that's like one of the key principles. It's like the guys you can't beat in challenges, you have to eliminate. So like you're not going up against them later. Yeah. So hopefully, I guess like. It's, I really hate that like, he has like this huge unfair advantage because like they're gonna find out what the next game is too, and he's obviously gonna tell Daksu. I wonder if he's gonna have to screw over the rest of his team though. Like for whatever reason, the challenge is gonna force like Daksu to eliminate everyone except for like him and the doctor. That's what I think might happen. I feel like we're starting to get into like the really cool part of the show because now that we're killing off so many of the background characters. Like, it's only a matter of time before, like, the main characters are gonna have to start dying. I don't mean that. <laughs> I think he's really happy to have a friend. The gang. That's so cute. Said. You miss them a lot? I don't like it. They're making me like these characters, but I know they're gonna all die soon. What? I think it'd be really interesting if there was one character in there who wasn't there for the money. Because it seems like that's like the unifying thing. Like everyone here is just broke. But it'd be cool if there was just some guy who's like, yeah, I don't care about the money. I just really wanted to play a death game for no reason. <laughs> yeah, he's in a dangerous spot. Last dive. We're even now. Yeah. He has to be really careful about what he says right now. Because, like, they're all talking to each other right now, which is extremely dangerous. Because when they weren't talking, it's so easy for him to blend in. Alright, yeah, just avoid saying anything, and he should be okay. Because it's not like anyone's actually, like, forcing him to talk what? right now. You warning? Even... <coughs> that was, like, the scariest way to wake someone up. You just, ready to switch? Why did you go for his throat, man? It's all good. He dreamt someone was about to throttle him in his sleep. Freaking psycho. What are you doing us? Yeah, you think all of this is so simple, huh? <laughs> Do you want him to teach you like several years of medical school? Sometimes it's the office managers or What? Are they gassing them again for Oh no, he's dreaming. Yeah, sleep deprivation. And was this what he was talking to his ex-wife about? Like the guy he saw die in front of him? Ooh. He knows. My goodness. Not doing well. What's going on? They didn't really tell us how much time he had left, but it like really seems like the answer is not a lot. Like, he I might not even, night. like, live through the I game. I thought the thing was dead, but then it shut up like a zombie. So what happened? I'm kind of worried the old guy's just going to die in this episode. What do you think happened? Number 29. Oh. This is my operating He's room, busted. Okay? Stop, Jed. Just let me work in peace, okay? He's getting so lucky. Shut up. I'll come like, right through his liver and kidneys just like this, damn it. Yeah, he's gonna have to shoot his way out of there. He's getting really lucky. Thank you, friend. And I feel like she's like, like her and Sung Woo are the only two like trying to win the game. Like everyone's trying to win, but like the second the game ends or like when they're not in like competition mode, they're like forget that it's all a game, and like. What are you doing? Yeah, he's so suspicious right now. I feel like he needs to kill this guy. But I don't know how he would possibly get away with it. But, like, he can't possibly, like, he's gonna get found out so soon. I don't know. Man. Yeah, that's Operation is falling apart. Calm down. 
feel like it's a trap. Like, why would a triangle... Yeah. Like, he wouldn't have a key to get to the control room. Well, they're not going to be able to keep this secret for long. Like, someone's going to notice that one of the... I'm surprised no one observing is noticed already, but someone's going to notice that one of the competitors is missing and or dead. It's a bomb. They made this passage. So, no, no. so I, I'm guessing these guys who have this, like, secret operation were probably involved in building the back door. And that's how they know where all these tunnels are. Which, considering how secretive this whole place is, I'm surprised that they let the people who built these tunnels even survive. Like, I'm surprised they just didn't kill them after they were done working. Number 29. Who are you? I said he had to kill him. Like, he was obviously gonna get found. Oh. I guess, to be fair, now he only has to kill one guy instead of three guys. People in the show keep on asking people to take off their masks as if they're going to recognize them. And then they just take it off and they're like, oh, you're just some guy I don't know. Like, what did you expect? That's a valid point. Like, would they even investigate if a missing soldier? Does it matter right now? You got that? I feel like they still would, right? Because, like, they do headcount every day. They'd be like, why are people missing from headcount? What matters is the identity of the... You know where that other kidney went? Oh... That's his brother? Here. It's in here. Hmm. Oh, he's gonna take his mask off. Stop taking your masks off! Like, I don't even get how this fosters trust. This is just some guy that you don't know. Look. Now you... Someone has to have noticed this, right? Like, I, I don't think... Like, how can they possibly get away with this? I mean, I guess it looks like they're gonna going to, but I don't get it. Oh, he's gonna kill him. Let's get you washed up before anything else. Oh. I'm not lying. Go check the list if you still don't trust me. He should have just said the list part. Like, how is the first part gonna stop him from wanting to kill you? Oh my God, he has to shoot him. Well, he's gonna have to kill you now because he can't exactly take a prisoner. Once we're a team, we'll be a. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Give them one last chance to fight fair and win. Shoot him! But you broke that principle. Shoot him! Sir, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot that guy too. Wait, are they gonna let him live? No, right? There's no way. <laughs> yeah, I hated that guy. Doc Fu's not gonna be happy that his like his free uh, piece of information is gone. All right, he made it to the. Uh... The boss's room. It seems so dangerous. Like, what if he comes back? Like, how did he even know he wasn't in there? No oxygen tanks are missing. Oh. So... He's still here somewhere. Find him. He should have got one of the tanks and just chucked it in the water. So that people would think he swam out. They would go looking the wrong way. Yeah, now they're gonna be completely looking for him. And, um. That's not the regular wake up music. This is like the lockdown music. Oh, maybe they have to search them in case the, uh. In case the guard is like pretending to be a, a player or something. This guy keeps on like knocking doors open and not closing them behind him. Like what if the guy comes back? It's so obvious someone's been in here because all the freaking doors are open. 
Oh, wow. This has been going on for like 20 years? Man, they got archives. Huh. Well, it explains how they have like such good infrastructure and everything built up. Like, this is not the first time they have uh, fully uh, gotten it working. All right, 2020. Why did it start on number two? Yeah, they're just, they're doing a sweep of everyone. And they found that he, so he can't go back to his room anymore. He's not on the security cameras. He has to be in here. So now we can't go back, so he just has to stay hidden somehow. Oh, did he, did he die? Mm. Oh, yeah. wait, he's not dead. Listen, he's very sick right now, sir. Is his brother not in it? That's weird. So his brother went, maybe his brother is number, no, because we know who number one is. Number one's the old man. That's his brother. Wait, so his brother already played? 2015. Yeah, it said he was in it in 2015? Player 132. Wait, that makes no sense though. Alright, episode 5 done. I'm gonna just talk about this because still, I'm still thinking about what that means. His brother... He was looking for his brother among the contestants, but it looks like his brother wasn't in the game. But he was six or five years ago. Um, and I don't know what that list was that he was looking at that had his name in it. But I, w I would imagine that would have to be like the previous winner's list because it just has like one name per year. Which is interesting because it kind of implies that like only one person can win. But I mean, it proves that I was like, I was wrong about like they actually do have a winner. It's not like they're going to kill everyone. So if his brother competed in 2015. That means, um, like, why did he go missing last week? Unless, oh, never mind, I figured it out. Yeah. His brother has to be working there. His brother's an employee, not a, uh, that's the reason why he hasn't found him. Because he's wearing a mask. Anyways, that was an exciting episode. Um, I really wish there was a game in it, but it looks like there's probably going to be a game in the next one. And we have three games left and only four episodes left in the series. So that means there's probably going to be an episode, uh, game in every episode uh, from now to the end. Except for one. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about it. We're going to keep watching. And I hope to see you guys all back for episode six. But anyways, until then, thanks for watching. Bye.